Hey, what's up? My name is Jim Fields, and today I have something very exciting to share with you, which is this innovative new camera product from a company called Sync, called the Genie S. So now it's the moment we've all been waiting for, which is the opportunity to unbox this very special product. we see something that looks like command line. So this is some computer code. And additionally, which makes me think that there's gonna be some really cool, this is an AI enabled device in the back, AI features built inside. And this works with Google and also works with Alexa in terms of integrations. And so let's open it up and actually see what's inside. First thing we see, card inside. It says capture, sync, and share. And as we turn this over, we get an invitation. Let's sync. So I'm opening up this now and seeing a really cool picture. And it says, hi, I'm Genie. AI tech, <laughs> meet video. And on the back, you have another label that says, join the sync revolution with a shorter description that says, introducing Genie, the first AI camera that marries groundbreaking technology with human interaction. So that's quite cool and, and useful information for me as the user. And then separately, there's also a guide which actually tells me more information about how to set up the product um, and some key information about actually how to get it up and running and working. And there's also some information in terms of if I need help, I can connect to support at synclabs.com or visit the support page. And next, we're going to pull out out the following piece, which is the cable. So this is a USB-C cable that lets me charge the device. And then we've got the charger brick. And so this charger brick, again, it connects via USB and plugs into the wall so that I can get power for the device. Finally, uh, the moment you've all been waiting for, the actual Genie S itself. And so looking at it from the top, the first thing I'll say is that this is the type of appearance that I don't think I've ever seen before. You know, I've played with different home security products, but the object that I'm looking at here is really unusual and looks pretty special. And so as I remove it from the packaging, uh, the first thing I guess I feel is it's got a you know, substantial design and form factor to it. And then we can actually take a really good look at the camera itself. And so first thing I'm noticing is that you have a hinge where the camera can tilt up and down. In addition to that, you also have a lot of really small details. So you have a really detailed grill on the front of the camera, uh, which looks like a speaker grill. You have four LEDs and the camera here, which we're gonna get a chance to play with later. On the back side, we see one single button, uh, which I believe is for setting up and activating the camera. And as we look to the bottom of the camera, we're also seeing that there's threading. So this is the, looks like an axis where the camera can be tilting or, or panning from left to right. And so all these little design details are really nice. I think visually, this is definitely something new, something that I haven't seen before. Can't wait to see the next steps is, first of all, I'm going to take the charging unit and this USB-C cable, and then I will connect to the Genie S itself. And then once I have it plugged in, you'll notice that it's first displaying some light and then it actually moves, so it's alive. So this is the first moment with the Genie S that actually it's activating uh, and waking up. It's gonna open up actually display and, and show me ready for connection. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I've opened Sync's app, then I clicked add device, and I can see Sync Camera Genie S. And then I click add device, and I allow access permissions. And so what I can do for this is I can just long press this button on the back of the device. It gives me a prompt that says it's ready to connect. I see a connectable device detected. It's mine. So once I click that, I can put in the information for my Wi-Fi network and the pairing begins. There's the Wi-Fi connection, there's authentication, and finally the successful setup. So it's time to get started with using this very cool product. 